Good morning. My name is Robin Bremer. .net is my website. And today I'm sharing on, I guess it's becoming one of my favorite subjects because God's having me share on it every day. I must have 30 days worth of teaching on speaking in tongues. And God just keeps giving me more and more little bits of it. Uh, each time he's letting me take one scripture and expand on it, expand it, expand whatever on it. Um, and so that's what I'm doing. And today, I mean, every time I open up the Bible, it's, this is all this stuff is going to be in my um, third book, which uh, my publisher, I believe, is going to publish my Bible studies at the beginning of next year. And uh, then my second book, and I probably my third book probably won't be out for a year. I don't know, but I'll put it up free for a while on my website until it gets published when it's done. It probably won't be done for another half a year or more. But anyway, um, today he's having me speak on that subject, speaking in tongues. It is for you and it is for today. <laughs> he's so funny. I mean, he just won't let me get off the subject every time I open up the Bible. There it is. Another scripture that he's telling me, he, hey, see, this is proof that speaking in tongues is for you and it's for today. So, <laughs> I am going to teach on that today. So, here goes. And today we are going to Ephesians um, 6, 17, I believe. Where is it? Um, I believe it's Ephesians 6, 17. You're just going to have to look it up yourself and figure it out yourself. Um, Ephesians says, put on the whole armor of God. And that's what it is about, putting on the whole armor of God. The, one of the one of the last weapons it has in the list to put on is, uh, and take up the sword of the Spirit, which is, um, take up the sword, which is the Word of God, praying in the Spirit always. So, and I might not have those words exactly, but what I want to point out to you is the sword of the Spirit is a weapon. It's the only offensive weapon that we have to go after the devil in the armor of God. Everything else is defensive. Uh, I guess you could call the shield of faith is offensive also. But you attack the enemy and it hurts the enemy by using the sword of the Spirit. And the sword of the Spirit, it goes on to say in there that it is the Word of God praying in the Spirit. When you pray in the Spirit, you're praying God's perfect will because you're praying God's Word, and God's Word is God's perfect will. Okay, so that is part of your armor. And he, God would not say, take up the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God, praying in the Spirit. If praying in the Spirit was not for you and it was not for today. So you see, the sword of the Spirit is God's Word speaking it in tongues praying it in tongues past your mind you're praying God's perfect will for a situation and it hurts the devil and that's why he's so against uh, you believing that tongues is for today and is for you because the praying in the spirit is a weapon a tool and uh, look it up check it out uh, today is real short but each time he's just letting me share one main scripture um, and it's really important uh, I also have on my website charts and posters and illustrations about the armor of God and teaching about it so check out um, below I will have um, links that will link you to the whole armor of God learning about other parts of the armor and uh, more about tongues um, so share subscribe Go to my website, robinbremer.net, and um, share that on Facebook, your social accounts. Um, let people know, because, man, I, I just don't want to miss out on speaking in tongues. It's so much fun. So my name is Robin Bremer, and I will talk to you tomorrow. You have a blessed, spiritful day. Speak in tongues. I'll talk to you tomorrow.